Iran finally admitting they blew that passenger plane out of the sky. The Ukrainian jet packed with 176 civilians, killing everyone on board. The president of the Islamic Republic saying they regret the, quote, disastrous mistake. Protests now growing in Iran over the accident, but also the delay in accepting blame. Even calling on the Ayatollah to step down. The latest now from ABC's Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, thousands of Iranians pouring into the streets, angry, shouting, Rahani, shame on you, even calling for the Ayatollah's removal. After the Iranian government finally admitted it accidentally shot down the Ukrainian passenger jet after days of denial, Iran's military says the Boeing 737 was misidentified as a cruise missile flying over Tehran. The plane was clear to take off less than four hours after Iran launched 20 missiles at bases used by U.S. troops in Iraq. The missiles launched to avenge the death of Iran's top military commander, Qasem Soleimani. All 176 people on the plane, including Ukrainians and Canadians, were killed. Iran must take full responsibility. Canada will not rest until we get the accountability, justice and closure. Iran's foreign minister apologized for the deadly crash, but also blamed the U.S., tweeting, human error at time of crisis caused by U.S. adventurism led to disaster. On the night of the tragedy, U.S. intelligence captured radar signals from the Iranians, which targeted the jetliner. A satellite saw two missiles fire. At least one exploded into pieces near the jet. Ukraine's president posting these photos of what he said is shrapnel damage on the plane. Among the questions, why Ukraine's airline was not warned of the dangers and why the airspace was left open. This is uh, one of the issues that we certainly uh, need better answers to. Stephanie Ramos joins us now live on set. And Stephanie, the president tweeting about this tonight, the accident, and putting more pressure on Iran. He is. The president tweeting just a few moments ago, quote, the government of Iran must allow human rights groups to monitor and report facts from the ground on the ongoing protests by the Iranian people. There cannot be another massacre of peaceful protesters, nor an internet shutdown. The world is watching. The president, of course, responding to those calls for accountability. All right, Stephanie Ramos with those new developments. Stephanie, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.